On December 13th, I decided to cut my Etsy ad budget from $1,000 a day to $100 a day, just to see what happens. And in today's video, I'll go over how Etsy ads actually affect our print-on-demand businesses. If you're new here, my name is Andreas. I've done over a million dollars in revenue in less than three years selling on Etsy as a print-on-demand seller from Sweden. So first off, I've wanted to keep my Etsy store as passive as possible this year. And that's because I wanted to mainly focus on this YouTube channel and also because of some personal stuff. But with that, I've actually managed to generate about $26,000 in revenue each month with a net profit of about, give or take, 20%. And that has worked super well during most of the year, all up mainly until September. So first off, in August, my ROAS was really bad. I've talked about that before. I usually have like a ROAS of around like 3.5 to about 4.5. But in August, I had a ROAS of around two to like 2.2, which is really bad for me. And the ROAS basically just means that the amount that I get back per money I put into ads. I was quite scared because I was like, okay, I'm basically putting much more money into ads. I'm not getting the same profit back. But with that, the first thing that, that I did was to just let that whole thing run out. I just kept my ads on just to see how much I actually made. Then I basically talked to my accountants and I got some reports on how August actually went because tracking profit can be really hard, especially for us that live abroad because of exchange rates and stuff like that. So the most reliable way to actually check for profit like the actual profit you made in a month, is just to look at the bookkeeping and the accounting. That's what I do just to get out an accurate overview of the whole month. So I looked at that and even with my low ROAS, I still managed to earn about 4,500 to 4,600 that month. But this begged the question like, okay, I should probably experiment a bit in September because I noticed that the trend wasn't stopping. I was still like on that same ROAS path of, of around 2.2 in ROAS. It wasn't really changing. Yes, specifically at September 13th, I basically changed my ad budget from $1,000 a day to $100 a day. So at the beginning of September, since I was really hesitant with the whole ad spend that I did, so I was like, okay, I really want to try it, but then I just bumped it back up to $1,000 a day because I didn't want to lose out on the sales. So I did that for like three days in early, early September, as you can see here. But at the 13th, I was like, okay, I can't actually make, get any good data on this if I don't do it for like at minimum two weeks, probably like a month would be the best. So from September 13th all the way until September 8th, I put it back up on the 9th. I had a hundred dollars in ad spend in comparison to a thousand. How it works on Etsy is that the budget is basically the cap. So this is how much it can max spend per day. It never really spends that and it kind of get close to that amount during Q4, but since we're in the early parts of Q4, it doesn't peak in, at those numbers yet. It's mainly like during the end of November from like Black Friday to December 15th that it peaks around those numbers. So I wanted to experiment to see what happens here. How does like my ads actually affect the organic listing itself and the overall performance of the listing? And you can see, here's my, the order page for the whole thing. So here's August. I did around like, usually like on the low end, like 20 orders, but usually around like 30 to 40 orders. That was like the general amount per day. And then I started to dabble around with here to just lower the ad budget. And it didn't really affect it from the start. I had about the same numbers and the same. And here at September 13th is where I actually cut my ad budget to $100 a day. So you can spend $100 at maximum each day, which you can see here, it almost always peaks. There's some really interesting results with this. So you can't really see anything that happens here during like for the first like couple of weeks, like week here. I have overall like, instead of hovering between like 30 to 40 orders, I'm more hovering around like 20 to 30 and at the low end like 18, but usually like 20 to 30 until we hit October one here. And what happens here, which is really interesting is that, okay, so I hit an all-time low here at like September 13th. And I was, instead of like doing 30 to 40, I was doing about maybe like 20 to 30 and sometimes a bit less than 20. But here in October, I'm doing like between 10 to 20 orders a day. So you can see a steady decline within the orders itself. And what's happening that's really interesting is that I'm losing my rank on my listings. So when people are searching for different keywords, I'm basically not converting as well. So 
at least not as well as I've used to. So, because if you look at my regular stats here, I'm usually around a 5%, 5%, or like a 5.5%, 5.3, 5.3, 4.5 and 4.2 is during these months where it's got going worse. But usually it's around 5, 5 to like, maybe like 6%. That's the usual basically. Uh, so that's the usual amount. Okay, so now my conversion rate is lower and I'm not selling as much and I'm losing rank because I'm not converting as much. And there's a lot of lessons that we can learn from this. And the main lesson that I feel that I learned from this whole thing was basically that rank is not something that's like, you can't see day by day. So with like in August here, I was spending more on ads and not converting as much, but I was still doing like 30, 40 orders. In September, it turned out at the end of September to do about like 20 to 30. And now in October, I'm doing like uh, maybe like 15 to 20 around there. So it's steadily declining. What's the reason for this? A myriad of reasons, but I think the main reason for my own sake, like this year, since I've been pretty passive with my Etsy store to be able to focus on other stuff, but still wanting to keep it as it's my bread and butter, the designs that I basically have in my store is being outcompeted by the competition. So I'm not selling as much as I've used to because I haven't updated my designs. Because all the other parts of the value equation that Alex Hermosi talks about, I'm still hitting those. Like for the perceived likelihood of achievement here, I have a lot of reviews in my store since I'm a million dollar revenue store. I have a lot of reviews. The likelihood that they will receive it, the receive it out of me is really high. And the time delay is really optimized in my store. Apart from that, the effort and sacrifice. So this is where the last part of the whole thing, the resolution comes in. Because this is the one thing that's the easiest to affect in order to just inc increase conversion rate and steadily increase my rank. So as my conversion rate has steadily decreased, I was like, okay, what can I actually do? Because I still want to keep my store as it's my bread and butter. This year, I want to focus on other stuff like personal stuff and the YouTube channel. So I don't want to list. So what can I do here? Now, one thing that I've talked a lot about on this channel is pricing. And that's what I've decided to do. So we're in the middle of October now. So as you can see, the experiment is over. I bumped up my ads to a thousand dollars a day because I want to get my rank up again with some listings. And as you can see, it doesn't even spend nearly as much as it used to do. Like usually it spent like $200 or like over that each day, around that amount. And now it's spent at maximum $150. And that means that I've lost rank on the listings and I'm just overall not showing up at the top of the search pages. So the remedy for this is that we can play around with effort and sacrifice. So what I've done here now, about like a month and a half before the actual rush of Q4, is that I have put all of my listings at a break-even price and pushed my ads to $1,000 a day. Now, what does this do? Uh, so at the value equation, I've lowered this part as much as possible, which basically makes, usually like with pricing that I've noticed, is that the lower price you have, the more volume you do. The higher prices you have, the less volume you do, but the more profit you make. So to make profit, I would still keep it at my big margins. So what I've done, this time around is put all my listings at break even pricing. And with that, I've also bumped up my ads to a thousand dollars a day. So I know that on the short term, I might not make as much money uh, this specific month in October as I did like in September and August. I haven't gotten results for how September actually went, but I know that in August, I may still made like 4,500 to 4,600 in net profit. That's after all like a cost except for taxes. So I still think I made a good amount of money because I made about like 20K, so a bit lower on the month compared to usually, but around 20K in revenue. And my net profits is usually around like 20% of that, which means that I probably made around... In August, I made a little bit less. I made like 17% instead of... Um, 20%. So let's count it on 17% instead. So that would be 20, 20k times 0.17. So maybe like 3,400 or something like that in net profit before taxes. I think I'm still good, good with that. But this month I'm experimenting a lot just to learn, just to see what actually can be done. And um, I really want to just learn to see how rank actually works, how long it takes to get some rank, and how the Etsy ad actually like affects the listing in and of itself in total 
But with this, the whole results, just to summarize, is that ranks takes a bit of time to get. You can get it and you can lose it. It doesn't happen by any day because if you look at this here in September, September 2 and 3 here, I cut my ad spend to like $100 a day instead of $1,000 a day. And I still made around like 20, 30 to 40 orders these days. Maybe not exactly those days, but overall, it didn't affect it that much. But here, in September 13th and onwards, you can clearly see here a decline in rank and decline in sales because people are buying, but not at the same rate that they used to. Like the main reason for this, since most other things are optimized in my store, is because I haven't listed for quite some time. And the design is being outdated and it's being outcompeted by other designs. If I were to list as much as I did before, I would definitely be able to get all the revenue back up again if I wanted to. Since I wanted to focus on something else and that's the constraint, I like I can't list. That makes me have to be more creative and which is why I'm only gonna focus on this effort and sacrifice part to get some rank up before Q4. If this is your first Q4, things get wild and crazy as the traffic is just supercharged on Etsy. So I still think that I will be able to gain rank on my listings before the rush hits because I'm doing it a month and a half in advance. But as the conversion rate has decreased, the main takeaway from this whole uh, thing, like from August, where I did more in ad spend, and in September, where I did about the same in ad spend. But the main takeaway with this is that in August, my ROAS and my ad spend dropped, and my conversion rate dropped as well. As you can see here, I'm usually around like a 5 to like 5.1 or like 6 or 7 or like 5.5, 5.3. 4.5, but here in August, it dropped to 4.5. This means that I'm spending more to show my ads to people and not as many people are purchasing. And it continues to drop, like in September, it was 4.2. The reason mainly for this is because I haven't listed like new designs that are up to date with the competition. Yeah, so the most important thing about the whole print on demand business is the design. So if you wanna learn more about that, I suggest watching this video right here. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.